Hello, and welcome to Quarantine Cooking. I'm your host, Melissa Pierce. On today's show, I'll be whipping up a mocktail. It's always great to have a drink while you're cooking. A gourmet macaroni and cheese with the best cheeses that you could find during this quarantine, as well as an artisan flatbread pizza. Welcome back, and thanks for coming into the kitchen. I don't know about you, but when I cook gourmet meals, I always love to have a beverage. Now, we ran out of all of our bottles of wine, so today I'm going to teach you how to make a mocktail. It feels the same as drinking a lovely bottle of red. For this, all you need is a wine glass, some fresh water. I live in an area where I shouldn't really be drinking from the faucet, but feel free to do that if you choose. I'm going to put in some lovely tap water from my refrigerator. I like a nice hefty glass of wine, so we're going to fill it up quite a bit. Once it's at your pleasing, you're going to come back and add the secret ingredient. And today for our mocktail is red food coloring. So I'm going to take the top off and add in just enough drops to make me feel like I'm really drinking an actual glass of wine. Look at that. Beautiful how it swirls like that, letting the aroma out. Now normally if I was having a regular glass of wine, I'd use my decanter, but this is just as great. Grab a spoon. Stir it up, and voila, there you go. A lovely glass of red wine while you cook. Moving along. Now, I don't know about you, but during this quarantine, my family has really been wanting some gourmet meals. And now that I have all the time in the world and I'm so relaxed, I can do that. So today I chose two to show you. These will be my children's lunch today as they sit and eat all proper it's like they're never hungry. I don't even know where they are. It's like they're not even begging for food. So that gives me all the time in the world to cook something amazing for them. So we're going to start with our flatbread pizza. Now, normally, I would roll out the dough and go and get all the beautiful seasonings. But what we're going to do today is make this lovely Celeste pizza for one. I'll show you how to do. First, what you're going to do is open up the box. It's an easy box. Just slide it open. Take out the pre-made delicious pizza. Once you open up the bag, you're going to slide it onto the plate. Look at that. Beautiful. Place it in your microwave. Cook time, two minutes and 30 seconds. And just like that, the pizza's done. Oh, perfectly scrumptious and burnt around the edges. Melted cheese. Mm, my mouth is watering. One meal done. Next up, we're going to talk about the macaroni and cheese. So, let me just show you two options that you have for this. Now, when I go to the store to buy macaroni and cheese for my children, I like to do the cost saving and buy the brand name. But unfortunately, they don't like that, even though it looks and tastes exactly the same as the non-brand name. So today, I'm gonna cook the brand name so my kids actually eat it. But feel free to try this if you'd like. For the macaroni and cheese, you're going to peel off the top just like this. <clears throat> Put aside the top wrapper that should not go in the microwave. Inside is going to be a small packet of powdered cheese. Mm -hmm. You're gonna take that out. And what you have left is some noodles and some odd looking fluffy white stuff. So you're going to fill it up with your tap water because it's for your kids. Why waste the good stuff from the refrigerator? Just to the line. And then put it in the microwave. This takes a tad longer than the pizza. You put this in for three minutes and 30 seconds. Can't wait to see what it looks like when it comes out. Oh, you're back. Just in time because I just heard the microwave beep. Here's that cheesy mac and cheese. So what we're going to do next is take the packet, which I pre-cut during the commercial break, to place into the steaming hot bowl of macaroni. You're going to need a spoon to stir it up real good. It comes out very hot, so make sure it sits for a little while. Now, because I love my children, I don't just give them the container to eat out of. I like to pour it into something 
a little nicer. So once it's stirred up real good, I'm going to pour it into my beautiful mug and let it sit for a while to cool and get a little thicker. So, those are my two meals. Thank you for joining me in just another day of quarantine and gourmet cooking at the Pierce House. Just to review, today we made a mocktail. Thanks in part to McCormick, assorted. We also made a gourmet pizza. And I'd like to thank my sponsor, Celeste. Usually you can get five for five dollars a giant. And lastly, our macaroni and cheese coming to you today by Kraft. Please tune in next time while we go over how to make a snack that's easy and your kids can get by themselves so they don't have to keep asking you for it. Have a wonderful day.